Hello, I'm Natasha Foreman. Welcome to the Breaking Bread with Natasha podcast, where I share daily devotionals from my namesake blog. So you can listen on demand to spiritual messages inspired by God's love as expressed in the Bible and other religious texts. You can read along at breakingbreadwithnatasha.com or sit back and take in the word. Either way, I'm blessed to have you break bread with me. Without further delay, let's begin today's message. Welcome, Breaking Bread family. This is Natasha. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's look at the book of Isaiah, chapter 41, lines 28 and 29. The translation that I'm reading says, I look, but there's no one, no one among the gods to give counsel, no one to give answer when I ask them. See? They are all false. Their deeds amount to nothing. Their images are but wind and confusion. There have always been plenty of false gods interloping in this world. They don't give counsel or give an answer when called upon. They don't do anything. They haven't proven worthy of worship, servitude, praise, and glory. Yet people worship, serve, praise, and give them glory. The God of Noah, Abraham, Jesus, Isaac, Deborah, Esther, Daniel, and Israel has proven himself. He is Jehovah Jireh. He is Jehovah Rapha. He provides and he heals. He is Father, no matter what language you speak. Abba, Allah, Baba, Vuchin, Papa, and Pai all mean Father and can all be said about him. He is the God above all gods and above all breathing things. Each day he allows us to rise from our sleep. Daily he makes it possible for our minds to process information. Because of him, we exist. We're not a creation of self-manipulation or the environment. We're not a product of some cosmic explosion or evolved from a lower being. Why is it hard to believe that God created us and his other animals and creatures to share a common thread found first in him. Why wouldn't we expect to see DNA commonalities with other species when we're created by the same creator? We are his children. Why don't we turn to him to celebrate great news, share our gratitude for the grace and mercy extended to us? and ask questions to which only he has the answers. Look at the last line of the Bible verses I shared. It says, their images are but wind and confusion. There's no substance in these other gods and idols that we're giving our time and energy. And I don't know about you, but the first thing I thought about when I read the word confusion was the enemy, the author of lies, the grandmaster of confusion. If we're distracted by other forces, real or imagined, how can we be focused on our father and where he's guiding us? Something to think about. Let's pray on it. I believe in and pray to only one God, you, Father. The stories of idols and other gods are false testimonies about forces with no authority. Because I know you are the power, the truth, and the source, I am not movable in my beliefs and conviction. You are God, my God. I am your creation, your child, and your ambassador. You make no mistakes. 
are not forgetful and are always with me. I can come to you for all things. From you, I possess power, strength, wisdom, confidence, love, faithfulness, gentleness, compassion, grace, understanding, and much more. I love you, Father. Amen. And with that, family, I pray that you are blessed, that you see and embrace your blessings, and that you are a blessing to others. I love you all. Take care. Hi, family. If what I shared in today's message resonates with you, I hope you will share it with others. Feel free to leave positive comments and reviews on my site, breakingbreadwithnatasha.com and through whichever podcast provider that you're listening to me. Each day, I work to be a better steward and servant. I hope you will join me in sharing God's love and truth and rebuking the enemy's lies. Now go out there and make today an awesome day. I love you all.